What's up guys, Iceface here and today we're playing Valor Legends once again. So, in today's video guys we're going to be doing a hero guide on none other than the main man, the shadowy assassin, Gar. So Gar is one of my favourite heroes in the game. Um, I've got him on both accounts and as you know when I said I unlocked him, that I'm really excited to start using him. So, I've used him now for a couple guild wars. And I've come to learn that he is a one-man army type of assassin. Fantastic at taking down whole packs, defending structures. You know, like, if you're coming up against a pretty good team, Gar can sometimes one-man army the whole team. Wipe them out completely. He is an unreal hero to have in your lineups. So first of all, guys, let's take a look at the skills. <coughs> so we've got the Blade Bayonet. <coughs> As you can see, you can read the description here. At level 3, it's going to... Energy acquiring speed reduction of the enemies is increased to 100%. Duration is increased to 5 seconds. Refraction Blade. <coughs> then we've got the Wind Spirit, which is the basic stat increments. And Skillful Dodge. Now... One thing I'd like to point out, and in my opinion, Gar has one of, if not the strongest exclusive weapons in the game, which is the Dance of Death. Unyielding Heart, so Wind Spirit level 3 boosts own max HP by 10%. And then at level 10, Agile Dodge level 3 returns 15% of your max HP when triggering Stealth. So every time he triggers Stealth, he's going to return 15% of his max HP. And then at level 20, own max HP restoration increased to 25%. And then at level 30, returns 200 energy to yourself each time you use Shining Blade. So, you know guys, this is really, really good. Like, he's a really, really solid hero. Definitely one that you want to make sure that you get to 11 star. Because that's where you're going to get a lot of value and deal a ton of damage. So, this is the equipment I currently have on Gar. It is a work in progress. Runes, I use the Decite Rune and Energy Gathering Rune, but there is many runes that you can use. And an example of this is the fact that you can use Berserker, Upper Hand, Decite. This is the Decite Rune I have on him. So he's got a bit of Leech as well off this rune. And yeah, so you could use a Berserker Rune and Decite Rune, Berserker and Energy Gathering, Upper Hand Energy Gathering, Upper Hand Berserk. You know, getting them skills off quicker in Guild Wars is just going to make you deal more damage. Um, one thing I will say about Gar is placement is always key with him. So, if you do want to trial it out, there's a few events in which you can do so, actually. Um, the Contest of the Brave, for example, is one in which you can actually have a little play around with him. Uh, you can just, you know, just play around like this, for example. And just, this will show you what he's like in game, actually, as well. But you can learn some different positions of how he works on the board by doing events like this. As you can see, he's untargetable by the enemies there. You're going to see his skill go off. Super, super strong. I know I out-leveled them, but you can sort of start to work with and see how he jumps about. How the other enemies avoid him. <clears throat> So, for example, if I have two heroes, let's grab another hero real quick. We'll get Lucia, we'll put her there. Um, actually, we'll put her... We'll put her... So, this is a hard one because everyone's going to target. So, you'll be able to see off here, the Sota's going to jump and target Gar, but look, see see where she jumps after, and it's actually going to drag Gar that way as well. So this is sort of, you know, learning. So what, she goes invisible, then she jumps over here, then Jar, Gar actually jumps over into the middle of the pact and dies. But whereas you've seen before that he can actually one-man a team, in that situation there, he can. He's been dragged and stunned. So you do kind of have to play around a little bit with it. But for example, if I grab a, a healer f and I stick it on Gar, and we'll watch how this plays. So everyone's going to target him at the start while he does the jump. 
as you can see they're all then they jump away because he's gone and vulnerable but he's staying on the Edward and you see just the little placement makes a huge difference like a, a huge difference and that's something that you got to sort of play around with Gar learning how he jumps around learning how he works is very very key to actually mastering this hero um, I'm nowhere near a master of this hero nowhere near I've just scratched the surface of playing around with him and seeing how good he actually is um, if I show you the lineups that I do so this is how I'm placing him at the minute so anything on this side is going to target him at the start then they're gonna switch focus to the Ramiel but God's gonna be dealing damage but he but oh and they die nine times out of ten unless I'm fighting MTs or uh, Sabzaga, then <laughs> they do die. But advanced arena. We need to do our advanced arena attacks. I've got Gar at the back here in this formation. These are the formations I have. But yep, yeah, a very, very, very strong hero. I have the resurrection on Salia there, but yeah. So one thing I will say guys, if I had to rate him. Gar or Ramiel. I'd definitely take Gar for PvP. Um, but Ramiel's better in PvE situations, for sure. I definitely think most people will agree with that. But he is my favourite PvP hero. But by a country mile. I mean, I love Celia. You guys all know I love Celia. But Gar, he, he does bring something a little bit special and different to the battlefield. Which is actually really unique. So... You can never go amiss with having a Gar. Um, I definitely recommend him after Celia because he is that strong. Like as you can see, I'm doing Sevilla now, but on my other account, you've seen as well, guys. I went Celia Gar. I went Ramiel Olivia, but here I went Ramiel Felix. I definitely think Ramiel Felix helps you progress quicker than the Olivia does, but that's it. So that's it for today's video, guys. A nice guide on. Gar. Hope you have enjoyed. Do smash a like if you have. Subscribe to the channel. And that being said, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.